what is magnetic flux? In this short video, part of my quick review series, I'm going to be discussing how you calculate magnetic flux. Now, before we start, please remember to subscribe and please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Now, magnetic flux is the measurement of the magnetic field given in a particular area. So over here, I now have a representation of a magnetic field. And in this case, the magnetic field lines are all coming in towards me and it has a certain strength. And we use the symbol B for this. But we ask ourselves how much goes in a certain area. So here is my certain area. And as I hold this loop up, you can see I now have about 20 going through my particular field. And so the flux is a measurement of those numbers of those 20 magnetic field lines. How can I change the flux? Well, I can change the area. So now I have significantly reduced number of magnetic field lines. Although the magnetic field strength hasn't changed, the number of lines passing through this area now definitely is smaller. Going back to my larger loop, can I reduce the number of lines without actually changing the physical dimensions of my loop? And I can. And in this case, as you can see, if I start to rotate it, the number of lines that pass through my loop definitely gets smaller to a point it gets to zero. So in this position, there are no magnetic field lines passing through my loop at all. So the magnetic flux is zero. How do I establish this mathematically? Now, before we do that, let's quickly review how we determine the direction of my loop. In this case, the loop is facing towards you. And so this surface area here is basically pointing towards you or going away from you. In other words, it's the normal to that surface. If I rotate this, by 90 degrees, you can see now it's facing either this way or this way. And so the direction is a vector that is pointing in that direction or in this direction. And we call this the normal. So now we're in a position to talk about the mathematical value. A magnetic flux has a symbol that we call phi. It's a Greek letter. And it's equal to the product of two things. The first is the magnetic field strength or the magnetic flux density. Then it's multiplied by the area, but only the area that is parallel to the magnetic field counts. So in other words, if my surface is pointing in this case, in this direction, the area vector, in other words, the arrow where this is pointing is parallel to my magnetic field. And so as a result, if I turn it, only that parallel component counts. And so now we multiply this by the cosine of theta. So if it's parallel, cosine theta, is cosine zero, which is one. If it's perpendicular, as it is in this case, it's now 90 degrees. And of course, cosine 90 is zero. The finally, the unit we use for the flux is the Weber. And no, not the barbecue. It has symbol WB, and it is equivalent to saying Tesla meters squared. That's magnetic flux. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as and I value your support by buying me a coffee. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.